Anthony from Hastersnet here, also known as the Internet Politician, and I'm not a YouTube commenter. I don't watch other people's videos typically and have something to say about it. Rarely do I even actually post in the comments, but just coincidentally on Friday and then on Sunday, two YouTubers, uh, one new, who got a real quick you know, bump, he finally just monetized, but he has uh, over 100,000 subscribers, so kind of just newfound YouTube fame, and then a longtime YouTuber with a uh, good channel uh, that I recommend watching. Both of them had the same message this weekend, and that message was respect for themselves, and that, that makes me respect them even more. So who am I talking about? Well, on Friday, uh, Jake Weddle, uh, if you were paying attention with the Mr. Beast saga, a uh, former employee who uh, essentially w was asked to come back, was more or less tortured, and then um, succumbed to just tons of debt from medical bills. And uh, the experience left him broken. Um, he's, he seems to be doing better now, but uh, he was just distraught. Uh, in a recent live stream, on, on Weddle's channel, he actually had his mother talk about his experience after uh, his last ordeal with Mr. Beast. In this new video, uh, Weddle was actually contacted by Mr. Beast. And it seemed like Mr. Beast was trying to handle it man to man, uh, try to make things right. And he offered Weddle uh, the anticipated $300,000 total that he was expecting. Uh, where he only received 110000 from the activity in which they had asked him to do. And um, Weddle said, no. And I thought to myself, holy crap, he turned out $190,000. Uh, because he did get the 110000 as I mentioned, uh, for completing what he was able to complete before it just got out of hand. And he said to James Donaldson, Mr. Beast, Jimmy, just make me whole. And he says, I want $50,000. It'll pay my medical bills. It will clear up my remainder of my student debt. And I'm thinking to myself, holy crap. This guy, new to YouTube. I mean, technically for himself. I was obviously a Mr. Beast for four years or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I just gained respect for this man. He took a bad situation. He didn't go to benefit from it. Now, and here, here's where I'm going with it is it, he didn't take the whole amount because he he's not greedy he, he doesn't have he has respect for himself if i were his lawyer obviously i would take take as much as you're, you're offering but uh looking at it from a neutral third party standpoint of uh, someone with some law experience technically i feel like mr beast owed him that $50,000 because the original amount while grand Jake needed to be made whole. And being whole meant keeping his integrity, but also being able to pay off debts that were looming over him. And technically, Mr. B should have paid his medical bills in the first place, which has led him into the debt he's currently in. So this handout to Mr. Beast with no conditions, assuming he actually does pay... Uh, Weddle, that's admirable, but there's still a whole lot of other Mr. Beast issues going around that, you know, probably should be handled. Frankly, as this is being posted on um, literally the, the Monday afterwards, the offer was made to Weddle, I wouldn't be surprised if a lawyer interjects and makes conditions because of the nature of what's going on. But I'll give Mr. Beast the benefit of the doubt. If he pays Weddle, the 50000 that he needs to make himself whole. And then um, maybe the news is wrong. Maybe Mr. Beast is a decent guy who got over his head and let people just go nuts. Benefit of the doubt. But then we get to CoffeeZilla. Logan Paul, who pretended to be uh, a friend who, who, who was listening to his inf uh, feedback about uh, the things he was getting into, decided to sue him. So CoffeeZilla is in the middle of a lawsuit and finds out that his journalist insurance uh, will not cover him because they changed the policy and his broker did not do the research. He did not do due diligence, which is a big problem. Uh, I agree with the lawyers that uh, uh, CoffeeZilla has spoken to. Technically, they could sue 
his broker. He should have done his job. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, so Logan Paul is suing CoffeeZilla. CoffeeZilla decided, okay, well, since I have no recourse, I have to raise funds somehow. So I'm going to sell a bunch of merch to recoup the funds, which it sounds like he, he, he got enough to start with. Uh, but then he also got entities offering him tens of thousands of dollars. There may have been strings or may not have been strings, but CoffeeZilla didn't want to feel indebted to these individuals, to these corporations. And that also deserves respect. Because most people would have jumped on the chance to just get some free cash. Uh, consequences be damned. So, so here is the lesson for this rather short video. Uh, Weddle and CoffeeZilla have integrity. Something you don't see a lot in YouTube today. And frankly, that deserves a lot of respect. And that should be something that seems common. Common sense things of having integrity. But as we know common sense is in common. Tell me in the comments your thoughts in this video. Did you like what you saw and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.